or a goal to reach, then you're never gonna be trapped. But if you go and just put yourself out there and accomplish goals that you want, you're setting yourself free every day. That's how I feel coming here. No, actually, like, coming out of high school, I really didn't, um, I went to a four-year after I graduated from high school, and then um, after three months of being in the engineering program at the University of Miami, I uh, decided that it wasn't something that I wanted to continue. So I took two years off, and then um, I did, I, I got a lot of different jobs and learned a little bit more about who I was. And um, after those two years, though, I came to South Seattle Community College. I don't know, it was kind of empowering just because, I don't know, I felt good that, like, that I was going to college. Everybody wants, has these goals and aspirations, but like I say, you have to, you have to have a plan, and part of education is, is a plan because it's a certain amount of time and certain things that you have to do, being very regimented. College life, success here, is a journey taken one step at a time. The many stories of achievement at South Seattle Community College are inspiring, as you'll see. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? Okay. Yes, I'm Meet Leanna Patricio. Her college adventure began at South. Leanna is now a senior at the University of Washington with a major in speech and hearing sciences. She's back to say thank you to her instructors. When I didn't understand stuff, I realized you gave me good feedback on the papers. Through a special program in high school, Leanna got a huge jump on college. The biggest thing about Running Start was that I got to graduate from both my high school and college at the same time. So as I graduated from Cleveland High School, I also graduated from South Seattle uh, with my AA degree. As a Running Start student, Leanna was able to take college classes and receive college credit while she was still attending high school. So with her credits from South, Leanna transferred to the four-year university. She's a real standout in her family. I'm the first person in my family to go to college. Um, my both of my parents had gone through high school. My mom, um, she went here to finish her GED and started some college. I think she got her AA, but I'm the first to go to four year. In More of Leanna's journey is ahead. First, let's hear about some of South's current success stories. The people who make up South's diverse population. Every one of these students has turned adversity into triumph through hard work. Some of them may still struggle from time to time. Each of them can pass along some great advice on navigating the path to higher education. And especially like your friends, sometimes if they're pulling you down, you gotta break out from that crowd, you know? If they're calling you up when you know you should be studying because you have an exam the next day, you know, you gotta tell yourself, okay, I think I'm hanging in the, right, in the wrong crowd right now. They're not motivating me, they're not inspiring me. The advice that I would give to students who are struggling with hurdles right now is that it's Everyone is struggling, like whether that's in classroom, not knowing the subject, um, being behind in homework, not getting the resources that you know you could possibly get for saving money and textbooks. The list can go on and on. But the thing is that you go out there and you do the research because the resources are available on campus. Many had to overcome cultural and personal hurdles. It would be like for me, it was the English problem. I was scared that I won't be successful because of my English. Then once I started, I talked to myself and said, okay, I spoke four different languages apart besides English before. So I said, you learn those languages. Even though I learned those languages at a young, younger age, it still didn't make a difference because I learned them and they weren't all mine. It's a, a big family, it's families where they have six, seven kids and they just waiting to the kids to get out from high school in order to get a job and how to support the family. And they think, they always think that uh, if they support them to go to college, it's a waste in money. But it's not a waste. In fact, just the opposite. One after another, these students have taken the first steps for success, however difficult those steps are. I had uh, um, dropped out of high school about 10 years ago, and so it was my first time being back in school in about 10 years, and so it was just a really uh, 
liberating experience for me? I felt in a funny way like I was a teenager again because I'm also a returning student and I'm, and I'm not the age of a lot of the um, students who are enrolling for the first time. So in a funny way, I felt kind of like the youth was restored. When I first got here, I was really nervous. Just stepping foot on the college campus, it was really nerve-wracking, and that was because it was just different. It was the first few months I had moved to the States. Like in my case, I always thought that I, I could never do it because I didn't have the money or the support from my husband, but I found the ways to do it uh, because I have a good advisor who always guide me and help me to do the papers that I had to do in order to get some money from the scholarships and from the foundation. This program is one of many each year at South to help students find the right direction. Whether it's English as a Second Language, ESL, or motivational guidance, new students see the opportunities up close. Special workshops and course introductions help demystify the college process and expose new students to what the college has to offer. Students learn about classes like English, psychology, and science, and what is needed to enroll in these courses, what will be expected of them, and how the credit will help them earn their Associate of Arts degree and help them transfer to a four-year university or college. The electricity, get the idea? Okay, now there's classes going on, so we're going to have Students to also see life. firsthand the professional so technical go. courses available on campus. Colleges can offer a wide variety of training, from auto body shop, auto engine repair, airplane engine repair, winemaking, or culinary arts. The high level of training you can receive at a community college will help you find great jobs and help you start your own business. One important milepost on the road to higher education is funding, how to pay for college. That's where scholarships and federal financial aid can help. The money's out there. If there's scholarships out there, there's grants out there. That's that's how I'm here. I'm actually a Gates Millennium Scholar. I uh, All of my um, undergraduate and graduate schooling is gonna be paid for because I took that um, initiative to apply for those for those scholarships, so do that. Yes, I'm on financial aid. Um, the process was, it was easy. Um, it wasn't too hard. It was just information on me. I did it online. Say so that, uh, <clears throat> Financial finances is probably the biggest obstacle that we've been dealing with. Uh, um, I have a disabled daughter, and my wife is a stay-at-home mom, and so I was pretty much the sole breadwinner of our household. And so, for me to be back in school, we've definitely taken a uh, drop in income in the in the household, and so it's. It's 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 just again one of those things where you you push forward you you make it through this and it's just going to get better in the end. Back on campus, Leanna Patricio meets with another one of her instructors. Mm -hmm. I loved that class. That was a, such a good class. Well, and then also we're adding, you know, for this uh, Asian uh, Pacific Islander grant that we received, mm -hmm. I added a uh, different or a new book. Hey, Leanna! Leanna is grateful to the faculty for showing her the road to success in higher education and for their part in helping her learn strategies for success. What I study now is not going to be, is not going to determine who I am for the rest of my life. If it turns out that I end up continuing on in speech and hearing sciences and I become a speech language pathologist, I can still do everything I've wanted to do. I could still be a writer on this side. Leanna has company. Many current South students see all the choices on the path ahead. In terms of grades, I've been able to be successful, but also it, it opens some doors to me and I'm a reporter for the campus newspaper, so I'm getting some experience that's different from even from what my major is. I'm not 100% set on what exactly I want to do. Um, I've always had a love for uh, culinary and food like that and uh, the main basis for me going into the uh, hospitality management um, is hospitality is a lot more encompassing than just cooking 
so that that in itself will open up a lot of lot more doors for me and then beyond that it's a management degree so if I get out of the program and decide that I'm tired of working with people and I don't want to do anything with hospitality I have management training so I, I figure it's a very well-rounded degree that uh, I can literally go anywhere in the world with. The opportunities at South are just a few steps away. There is support and guidance from a dedicated, intelligent, and compassionate faculty. There's encouragement from fellow students, a culturally diverse population with so many views and different interests. And there are funding opportunities along the way to help with the cost of a quality higher education. The most important step is up to you. Though it might be scary, the first step will actually lead you to a pathway. And all of the students are you know, going through the same, though different degrees of struggles and hardships, they will be there with you, as well as the staff and the faculty and everyone on campus. Yeah, I'm really proud of myself for going to college. It's not a given for everybody to go to college. I've realized um, some people can't you know, struggle through high school, and so to make it as far as I have, I feel pretty good about it. And I know that there's a lot more college to go still, but I think attending class and really trying to put in the effort, I'm proud of myself for sticking it through, even when I had trouble. When she was in high school, I knew she would do well. She, you know, she did running start, and I thought that was wonderful, and, and she did really well. But um, as as a college student now, I think that because she truly wants this, I truly want it for her. And so um, when she talks about it, it, it just kind of warms my heart. Thank you.